Hey folks, Daily Lines Blog for October the 31st, 2018. October the 31st, Halloween. One of the great traditions, I think, that we have in Canada and the United States. I don't believe they celebrate Halloween in Europe. Are you, are you aware, Case? Uh, I think they have Halloween parties. Right. I don't think they go to Yeah, Canada, isn't it? Though. It's so cool that you can knock on someone's door with, with a bucket or with a bag and not say anything and they give you stuff. Yeah, we won't be doing that. No, we won't be doing that. Lights will be out. Lights will be out because of Brando, right? Because Brando used to love Halloween. I mean, it was like it was like his Super Bowl night. I, I propose this to you. Why don't you try to pull the Halloween thing on November the 1st? So you knock on anyone, random people's door with a bag and say, you know, give me some candy. They will call the cops, but one day a year. It's like the purge, right? Isn't that what uh, the movie was about kind of thing? Like one day a year you were allowed to do stuff? Yeah. yeah. So I want to talk about Halloween because it's the time when, when people, not like um, us, who struggle with mental health challenges, and, and obviously some who do, wear masks. It's all about the disguise. It's all about looking like someone else. And I, I mean, the irony in that and the, the association with that has to be pointed out. I mean, it's pretty obvious that one of the dominant characteristics of people with depression is that we wear masks, mental health challenges in general. And I'm not telling you anything new, but I, I want you to know that I know that, that I do the same thing. And we all have to wear the mask. Here, here's, here's what I would say with that. You know, you can't walk around looking like you feel uh, because it's just, it's not good for you and it's not good for the people around you. So I understand that and I have learned, I've become really good at wearing the mask. Um, partly because, you know, I'm a trained TV performer and radio performer where you don't show people what you're feeling, you show people um, what you think they want to see. And I think it's perfectly okay to say, you know what, I wear the mask a lot of the day, but here's the key point for me in today's Lands blog, and that is you need a safe place. You need a place where you can take off the mask, where you can be yourself, where you can act the way you want to act. No one can wear the mask 24 hours a day. No one can do it because it's exhausting, and that exhaustion leads you to more pain. This vicious cycle will magnify your mental health challenge. So yeah, we all got to wear the mask sometime. But none of us should have to wear the mask all the time. And if you are struggling right now, I, I plead with you that you need to share, if you never have, with the people in your house that you have this struggle, that you have this challenge, and you need to tell them, look, I've been, I've been fooling you, I've been, I've been acting, I've been wearing this mask, and it ends right now. Not all the time, but I need one safe place where I can come and say, you know what? Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel good, and this is the, the energy in my voice that I kind of feel like I should be putting out because this is, this is how I feel. I don't feel good, and I shouldn't have to hide that all the time. Sicknumweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. We're here because we get it.